Today we're looking at the superhero-esque 3D smart glasses from Athir Labs. Boy, the smart glasses market is getting crowded. Roll the graphic. Good morning to you, everybody. Thank you for joining me again on 10 Reasons Why Show Tech in the Morning with me, Scott Tomaso. It's the show that highlights the day's hottest tech for you, the casual fan. Now, we all know that Google Glass and Metaspace Glasses represents the future of wearable technology, but you can add Ethere Labs to that list as well. And like the other two, Ethere comes in a glass wearing form, which helps the viewer or user immerse themselves in a reality and digital world. But what makes this one different? Well, here's some things you need to know about Ethere. Now, this video shows the potential of Ethere Glasses and what they would like it to do in the future. The future, however, is still way off, so don't expect your Ethere glasses to look anything like this. However, if you are looking to get a pair, you can, but don't expect to receive them until spring or summer of 2015. Now, the Ethere One, a consumer version that connects to your smartphone device, is available for $500, and the larger full-fledged developer version is available at $850. Now, we're going to use Ethere One as an example for the specs. Now, you guys know we've touted the Meta Space Glass's enormous field of view, right? And if you don't, it's, it's huge. Well, Ethere One glasses have even more. more. Almost three times more than Meta Space Glasses, in fact, which is five more times the field of view than Google Glass. And Ethereum One also has a higher resolution than both Meta Space Glasses and Google Glass. Now, that being said, it does have a couple of drawbacks. First of all, Ethereum One has to connect to your smartphone to work. This is not, I repeat, is not a standalone device. Another thing is it doesn't connect via Bluetooth, which means you're gonna have a cord dangling in front of your face to your phone the entire time you wanna wear them. And trust me, it's not as attractive as it sounds, which it doesn't sound attractive. Either. Another thing is it runs solely on Android, which means you have the entire library to play with if you're an Android user. But if you're an iOS user, as it is with all wearable technology, there's a couple of things that always concern me. One, how fast and how accurate it is, and two, how heavy is this son of a gun? To the second point, these things are light. They weigh roughly somewhere around 70 grams. Now I've gone to movie theaters wearing those digital 3D glasses that are just atrociously heavy and I want to take them off halfway through the movie. A Thier one, you won't have to worry about that. Now as to the first point, it seems that a Thier has licked that whole gesture detection feature. It's smooth, it's accurate, it's reliable, and it doesn't seem to be affected by any type of outside interference, such as another person or an object. So definitely kudos to a Thier for that. Overall, this is a great product. I mean, it's not not where it really needs to be or where they really want it to be as of yet, but the potential is definitely there. And by the looks of the video and the things they want it to do, all right, I'm buying. I'm feeling you. If you want to find out more about Ethere glasses, go to etherelabs.com. Check out the specs and let me know what you think about them. Which glasses intrigue you more? Meta Space glasses, Google Glass, or Ethere? Leave us a comment below. Until next time, I'm Scott Tommaso. Now go tech yourself before you wreck yourself. Hello everyone and thanks again for watching the video. Go ahead and hit subscribe below. If you're one of those people that loves to, to listen on the go, be sure to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. Just click the link below. In the meantime, check out some of our sample videos. Just click on them and it'll take you right there. And we thank you again for checking us out. Click it. Go on, click it.